Let's bring in Senator Bernie Sanders of Vermont. Senator, good to have you with us tonight. Uh, good to be with you. You bet. It, everything was looking good early on this week. What happened? I think there's just an enormous amount of politics involved here. Ed, when Bush was president, Republicans voted for five extensions of emergency unemployment without any offsets. That was when Bush was president. Obama is president, it becomes a different story. What these guys want to do is pretend, I believe, that they're concerned about these 1.3 million workers. And I want to thank you very much for really talking about what happens to somebody's life when they have no income coming in, what it means in terms of rent or a cell phone or your ability to get a job. That is something our Republican colleagues are not thinking about at all. So what they're talking about now are quote unquote offsets, not under Bush, but now they want it under Obama. And what these offsets will be is taking money from PETA to help pay Paul. What they want to do is cut uh, the Affordable Care Act. They want to cut uh, health insurance. These guys have been vicious about cutting food stamps. Uh, they want to cut Social Security, Medicare, and Medicaid. They want to cut any and all programs which benefit the working families of our country. That's what they want to do now. Mm -hmm. That's what they have always wanted to do. Senator, would your counsel be to do some offsets to get this thing through? Is it worth it to try to find some cuts somewhere else? Well, there are offsets and there are offsets. When one out of four corporations in this country, Ed, including some very, very wealthy ones and profitable ones, don't pay a nickel in federal income taxes, yeah. you think we could raise some revenue there? Do you think we could raise revenue when we're losing $100 billion every year because corporate America is stashing their money in the Cayman Islands? Ed, here is an unbelievable irony. Think about this. Many of these Republicans who are demanding offsets right now to help desperate workers get some food on the table, they are supporting the complete repeal of the estate tax. That is hundreds of billions of dollars not coming into the federal government, only applying to the top three-tenths of one percent of Americans, well, they're, the millionaires they're, and the billionaires. They're in favor of inherited wealth is what they are, not earned, because they're, they're, they're that will help concentrate the wealth if they can get rid of the estate tax, and that's really what that is all about. So it comes down to, is right. there going to be a deal in the Senate? And that would be offsets. Well, I, don't, I, I don't think that we're going to get any uh, corporate tax reform that's going to help this thing out. So it looks like the Democrats, and I hate to say this, are going to have to let these 1.3 million people fall by the wayside or do a deal or somehow believe that pressure can be brought against Republicans. What is it? Well, I think what we have going for us, both on this issue and on the issue of the need to raise the minimum wage, is widespread support from the American people. And I think we've got to make the Republicans an offer that they can't refuse, and that is they're going to be hurt politically, which they worry about a whole lot, unless they do something significant to help these 1.3 million Americans. And by the way, Ed, when you help these 1.3 million Americans, you're helping the American economy. Yeah. If a desperate worker doesn't have any money to spend, that means we're going to be losing collectively about 200,000 jobs a year, a decline in our GDP by two-tenths of one percent. So it is the moral and right thing to do. It is good economics to extend these unemployment yeah. benefits. The American people have got to stand with us and tell the Republicans they've got to do the right thing. Senator, what is your response to the House Budget uh, Chairman, Paul Ryan, who, who tells NBC News that this has to be solved uh, community by community, one-to-one, uh, -one. government doesn't have a role at this point. That's an outrageous statement. And, and you're quite right in quoting some Republicans who actually believe, by the way, well, I mean, here's Ryan. Ryan's budget, massive cuts in Medicaid, transforming Medicare into a voucher program, putting the burden on the backs of sick elderly people, and then thinking that somehow mysteriously, magically, the uh, churches or charitable organizations are going to fill the gap. They are not. Yeah. Government in a civilized, democratic society has a responsibility. We are the only country in the industrialized world that doesn't have a national health care program guaranteeing health care to all. Well, there were high hopes for a vote on Monday in the Senate. Doesn't look like that is going to happen. We'll stay on the story. Senator Bernie Sanders, thank you for your time tonight on The Edge. I appreciate it. Remember.